Welcome back to the Meta Instincts channel. This video is a recruitment sharing video for the polls in last week and some of our updates in last fortress. The recruitment for our low spenders account worked exceptionally well last week. Within the 18 combat and 3 faction polls, we get 4 advanced elite heroes and 2 Kobayakawa. I never had that luck for half year. Our accounts are in the third season of Homeworld, or some may call it S8. The developer made a new recruitment pool called Summit and Emerging Heroes Recruitment. It requires season tickets to get the new heroes. But we didn't use any season ticket with a low spender account because we wanted to prioritize Haytex and Benson instead of new heroes. Benson and Haytex are two of the damage output heroes in the lineup. We already have Laurel and Galand maxed out. Although it is a low spender account, with zero spend over four seasons, it is still a decent account. Of course, we can't win a battle with high spenders, but we can win those who don't spend. Having a baby or secondary account is beneficial. It is a perfect farmer account because we have maxed the alliance commemoration upgrades. We can effortlessly achieve 4 million points in every alliance duel. It contributes significant points to the alliance in winning a duel. The second benefit is to serve as a resource for your main account. For instance, you can have your baby account join a different alliance and have your main account attack it. This way, you can get the resources such as iron and stone from the baby to your main account. It can also help you complete the personal armament races on the weekend. You can set up a tent fight with your baby account and fill the race without battling other players. This tactic is handy, and I hope you learned something at least. Before entering the next section, we would like to introduce our discovery, Paxify. They are the ultimate in-game purchasing service and save us up to 30% of recent items purchased in Last Fortress. Without Paxify, we should have bought this bundle at $129, but guess what? We only pay $89.99. But don't just take our word for it, listen to what satisfied players have to say. But before you start using the Paxify service, we highly recommend binding your account to an IM30 account to ensure your account is 100% under your control. Once your account is bound, you can use Paxify with peace of mind, knowing that your account is fully protected. Imagine how much ahead you could be if you had been using Paxify since the beginning. So, join today, and don't miss the special deals, link in the description below, alright? Let's get back to the SVIP 1 pulls. Unlike the low spender account, we no longer do faction recruitment with this account. We have maxed out most old heroes except those we don't feel like using. There is no point in pulling the old heroes. We exchange faction cards for season cards and buy blue tokens and faction cards. We have a lot of silver and gold tickets to spare by recycling the excessive shards. Season cards are only available if you're in the dimension. We did 51 combat pulls, and it is nearly three times the low spender account. But how do we get a vast amount of blue tokens? One of the factors is the alliance we are in. We recently moved the low spender account to a less active sub-alliance, it receives almost nothing present from members' purchases and mutated zombie kills. Those presents contribute a lot of blue tokens. Therefore, joining a strong and active alliance is crucial to growing your account. For your information, we never buy faction tickets and blue tokens with money after S3. They come in naturally. We prefer to spend on other things that bring a higher value, such as season passes, Solari heroes, etc. Bori is the next hero that we wanted to max. We have him in golden 2 stars after these pulls. Once we get him to golden 3 stars, we can use the hero contract to ascend him to mystic 2 stars. Burry is a rigid tanker. He is getting famous, and we saw him in almost every high spenders lineup. Macklin is less famous than Burry. We seldom see him in battle. Anyway, be creative in making a lineup. If you can make an excellent combo with Macklin, go for it. We recently saw many ideas in the lineup design, and one of them was beating us to the ground with four heroes. How can four heroes win a battle with five heroes? No Palmer or Soros. It happens. We were impressed. Please write 4 vs 5 in the comment section if you want to know more about this lineup. We are working on a few new topics. One of them is discussing the hero stats. We found that the damage calculus in the last fortress is complicated. It doesn't work as simple as 1 plus 1 equals 2. For instance, adding Aji will not affect the hero's defense, but it does reduce the damage received. Adding intelligence or strength doesn't improve the attack or weapon attack. Moreover, the developer told us that the system computes the normal attack damage based on the weapon attack. Therefore, a strength hero has better normal attack damage than an intelligent hero because of a higher weapon attack. However, we discovered that the system involves the hero's primary stat in the calculus. For example, Laurel's normal attack consists of her weapon attack damage and damage from intelligence. 
If you increase her strength, her normal attack damage remains unchanged. If you increase her intelligence, her normal attack damage will improve. Does it sound confusing to you? Please let us know in the comment section. We get 2 Buri and 1 Macklin out of 9 season pulls. We also get 4 advanced elite heroes out of 51 pulls. The recruitment luck is acceptable. I hope the recruitment in the coming day will be better. If you like our content, please give us a thumbs up. I'm Alan from Meta Instincts. See you soon. Thank <laughs> you.